reports of allegations that the shooter in the Orlando massacre was possibly leading a secret life. Investigators questioning those who knew Omar Mateen as friends and family say their final goodbyes to the victims. CBS News Andrea Grimes is here now with more. Andrea. Cindy and Mary Univision interviewed a man who claims he had a two-month sexual relationship with Omar Mateen. This alleged lover does not believe terrorism was his motivation. The network changed this man's appearance to protect his identity. Did you ever detect any kind of violence, actions from him or attitudes from him? Not at all. I never detect anything. He was a very sweet guy. Cowardly. He loved to be cowardly. The man called Miguel says Omar Mateen was looking to be loved and embraced. Despite that, he believes Mateen acted on revenge when he shot up the Gay Pulse nightclub. He says Mateen was with a Puerto Rican man he later learned was HIV positive. Miguel says Mateen hated gay Puerto Ricans for the quote, bad things they did to him. Univision reported the FBI told the network investigators have spoken with Miguel, but a law enforcement an official would neither confirm nor deny this to CBS News. Miguel's interview comes as mourners continue to say their final farewells to the 49 people killed. We celebrate this life. Yesterday at this church in bed Brooklyn, loved ones remembered 25-year-old Enrique Rios. He loved it, everybody. He made everybody happy. Back in Orlando, U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch visited a memorial for the victims and met with investigators. Sources confirm a teen went into the nightclub before the shooting, left at one point, then returned two hours later and opened fire. Lynch says they're revisiting prior investigations into Mateen since he was previously on the FBI's radar. We're going to go back and look at all of our contact with him uh, and to see if there's anything that we either missed or could or should have done differently. A Muslim man who worshipped at the same mosque told CBS News he called the FBI on Mateen two years ago. He says he was concerned after Mateen spoke about watching videos from a radical Islamic cleric. The FBI investigated and cleared Mateen of any suspicion. Cindy? Andrea, thank you.